It was a documentary that captivated the nation. Exhibit one, and it will be part of the, the motion. Brendan Dassey and his uncle, Stephen Avery, serving life sentences for the 2005 murder of Teresa Halbach in Manitowoc County. Years later, Netflix is making a murderer still resonating with people around the world. Here's a kid. He knows he's innocent. No one is looking to help him. Dassey's confession tapes. We went in there, we tied her up. He stabbed her, and he told me to cut her throat. Chilling for supporters who say police took advantage of him. I watched the documentary like everybody else, and I haven't felt really compelled to try to do something to help him. Fifteen years into his life sentence, groups still rallying for his release, posting signs on Madison City buses, holding rallies, and spreading their message on social media. Like this Facebook group called Brendan Talks, supporters getting as many people as possible to send the governor letters like these postcards. I've known him for six years now, six or seven years now. So I consider him a good friend at this point. Group administrator Becca Nash created the cards. She says she talks to Brendan on the phone every week. We talk about movies, music, he loves Pokemon. Um, we talk about anime. Nash organizes events so members can interact with Dassey in prison, sending him photos of them ordering his favorite foods, holding art contests, and lighting candles in his name. Why Brendan Dassey? Why is he the one you want to focus on? He's very nice, very sweet. He wouldn't hurt a single person. Um, I believe he's 100% innocent. One member, Elizabeth Graf Kettler in Kenosha County, has been writing to Dassey and Governor Evers for years. I've had so many sleepless nights thinking about this child, worried about him. What are they doing to him and what is it doing to him mentally? She keeps Dassey's photo next to her deceased sons. I sat there and I just sobbed. I went, oh my God, what more could they do to this child and his family? Well, I just wanted it all over with, so I said whatever they wanted to hear, you know. In 2019, Dassey's eligibility for pardon was denied. Since taking office, a spokesperson for Governor Tony Evers says they've received 2,200 contacts regarding Dassey's case, the people sending them personally invested. Do I think that a postcard is going to change his mind? Probably not. But I want him to know that there are people all over the America, all over the world, believe in Brendan, who believe that a great injustice was done and that something needs to be done. So he needs to fix it. Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News. A spokesperson for Governor Evers tells 12 News the governor is not considering a sentence commutation for Dassey at this time.